were one of the largest limestone uh, mines in Kentucky. The place is just loaded with moving parts. The third level, the second level, first level. Outside, in the plant, uh, it's just a series of moving parts. I think that's probably the most difficult task is, is to make everyone aware that these, these moving parts are under uh, A lot of uh, hidden tech uh, that we have to contend with. The ventilation, the mine gas, uh, those, those are big, those are things that uh, we work with every day. Uh, the air quality of the mine is everything. It's a, it's a rough environment. The rock is extra hard. We got to have four wood drive. You can't get by without. It's uphill, downhill. Everywhere you go, it's different. Limestone is used in a lot of products. Pretty much if you go through a day, you're touching limestone in some way. It'll be in three levels. I mean, that's pretty unique. It also gives us uh, access to a, a tremendous amount of reserves that'll last several hundred years. Because of the lime kiln we have on site, we don't shut down in the winter. A lot of uh, surface mine operations shut down. We run 12 months a year, 365 days. We get it crushed, run through the crusher, and we start sending it up the hill. It stops off at the second level. It gets screened and resized, and then we sort it out, whether it's a high mag or a high calcium rock. And from there, we send it on out to the surface. What we have here is a group of people that are hardworking people. It's hard work, but we're also a family. You know, we, we take care of each other. I believe it's because of the environment that we work in. Not everybody can work underground. And that's something that we have in common. We share in common with each other. And that, that bond that we have as being underground miners, I think is what makes this a special place to work.